What's going on guys? It's Drake with Extreme Sports here in Joplin, Missouri, and today we're going to cover the difference between the standard and uh, worldwide known balance power inflator versus the Scuba Pro Air 2. Both of these combinations have different setups and different purposes. They both have their pros and cons, and uh, today we're going to cover the difference and figure out what is best for you. Over here on the right side we have the standard balance power inflator. It has a normal inflate button. This one's on a rotate. This is a uh, fifth gen. It has a deflate button and a spot to manu manually inflate your BCD. It has a normal connection point, uh, which is a standard across all BCDs, just like that. And uh, like I said, it is known as the balance power inflator, also known as BPI. When you have this setup, you will also have to have a Octopus. This one is a Scoob Pro R095. Uh, it is available here at Extreme Sports, but when you go with a system like this, since you do not have an alternate air source on here, you will have to have a backup just like that Octo. Over here on the left side, we have the Scoob Pro Air 2. This is also known as the Alternate Inflator Regulator Air 2. And Scoob Pro introduced the uh, Octo Inflator concept about 30 years ago, and uh, they are now on their fifth generation, which is right here. It is a very streamlined and, uh, and really nice combination to have for recreational divers. So just like the uh, BPI, we have a connection point. It is a little bit bigger. However, it is still streamlined and uses a standard regulator hose to an adapter. You have a large purge button that is nice for have, if you have uh, large gloves, thick gloves. And we do have a little bit thicker buttons on here, which is a, uh, a pro in my opinion, because if I do have those thicker gloves on, I'm able to uh, deflate a little bit easier. And as you can see on this one, we do have a mouthpiece. I'll take this little cover off. This is a new one. We do have a mouthpiece that is in here, so you can actually breathe off this one. That's why we have that larger inlet hose, because we have to supply enough air for our diver. Uh, you also have a dive and pre-dive mode that you can select in here, and this basically controls free-flowing of regulator. You can see the little flap in there just changes the Venturi effect uh, inside the regulator itself. Uh, both of these, like I said, have pros and cons. The, uh, the Air 2, right here, it is very streamlined, uh, so you don't have to have that other Octo hanging off to your side. You just have this in replace of this and this. So we convert these two systems into one. So it is very streamlined. It is simple. So for, for new students, it's a lot easier to say, hey, this is a source, rather than having to focus on two things on different sides of a diver. And it has large buttons. The, uh, the BPI does have its, uh, its pros compared to the Air 2. So the Air 2 has its limits on, well, you have a connection point onto this Air 2 that is about yay long. And the problem with this is if you have a diver, let's say you're getting into technical diving and uh, you have a diver that is uh, pretty far away for, from you, the, uh, the Octo is a little bit better of a choice because you can get a longer hose or you can even add uh, longer hoses than this. So you can do up to, you know, six, 10 feet. So it uh, allows for a long Octo. It's better a choice for technical diving. Um, but like I said, they both have their pros and cons. And uh, if you want to stop by in the store, check them out and uh, I can explain a little bit more of the differences between them. Uh, this is Drake with Extreme Sports. Hope you guys have a great day.